Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. If you want some pretty uh, little dried flowers like those and not like this moldy bag, stay tuned. Okay, so basically I just wanted to come on here for a quick little video. Hi honey. My honey's wearing one slipper. Um, and I'm just drying some flowers. We get some posies at the local grocery store every week and um, I love to give them a second life by putting them through my little micro fleur um, flower dryer so that I can put them either directly in my junk journals or mix them into my handmade paper. So normally when I'm doing them for my junk journals, I like them flat and the micro fleur can really make them super flat. Is it flat, 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 flat? And let me show you what that one starts like. That one is a regular uh, daisy with that much girth, goes down to Nothing. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so, look at this guy. Nothing. Okay. So, how do I do that? Um, uh, I have shown you this before, but I just thought I would show you what not to do. So, I thought I would short step the process and not use my microfleur and just put some um, like petals in an open bag. Bad idea. I thought the airflow would cause them to dry enough and I just have dried flowers. Nope. No, I got a bag of moldy flowers so that's nasty and ugly and we're going to throw that out and you don't want to do that okay you can press them in books the old-fashioned way the only thing is it takes a while so if you want instant results it's going to take a while so what are we going to do uh let's see okay so i've got some little posies here that i've cut off and they're like maybe a day away from their last breath so I'm just going to put them here so you can just see the process. It's really easy. Everybody's microwave works a little bit differently as far as the heat and stuff. So you kind of have to find your own little happy place, do some tests. But I found with mine somewhere between one minute and three minutes is the best, the best time. Oh, here are some really pretty uh, uh, rose petals. These looked like this initially and we got these little flatty loos. Super flat, really cool, huh? And you can still see the veining and everything. And um, so I'll put some of those down too. And um, we'll try a, uh, with these carnations, they're a little bit, maybe too tall to squash completely, but maybe I'll pull out some of the petals and we'll just use those because carnations, they last a while. Okay, but randomly. And, and the whole deal is you don't want to overlap them. It's better if they don't overlap. So the individual petals, I'm kind of, uh, lazy about that. I just sort of spread them out, but the more you spread them out, the better. And uh, let's put down some rose petals. Hey, Holly, this is me African Grey, two feet away. Hi, honey. You doing good? Oh, you want your breakfast. Okay, that's what that, that jingle is about. That's the, uh, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Can you please uh, get move along with the breakfast service? Uh, we're waiting over here. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Um, okay, so pop that down. <clears throat> Put this little felt pad, and you can create this device on your own um, with using, oh, people have all sorts of ideas on how you can do this with um, ceramic plates and uh, tiles and <clears throat> all sorts of fun ways you can do this. Here's how they, they peel off when you're peeling them off. See, they come out super thin. Um, and I would say, now I'm doing a mixed batch here. I would do the rose petals in my microwave at about, for one minute. Um, but the, uh, the daisies, because they're a little bit thicker, I might do those one minute, 20 seconds, one minute, 30 seconds. Like I said, you just got to get to know your microwave and see how it um, behaves when you're drying flowers. Okay, so this is like a cotton sheet or a, a linen sheet. Um, you could probably wash these, but they're nice and flat, and it's really just flower juice, and it doesn't seem to stain the... the um, petals that come off. So let's just put those over there. Oh, no, I forgot something. Okay, I got to take everything off. Sorry. <laughs> I got to put this cotton sheet down first. There we go. Now we rearrange the petals. I like to put them face down. Little faces, sun's shiny. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to just leave you like that. And a uh, little guy there. And where'd everybody else go? Everybody else ran for the hills. Okay. We'll put the roses down here. Probably should do the roses separately. All right, we'll do the roses separately. Yes, let's, you wanna do thick, uh, common thickness. That would make sense. All right, let me get some more flowers, hold on. Okay, I have a big, uh, I think this is a chrysanthemum. Yeah, um, I don't know if that whole flower is gonna come out. Let's try it, let's see what happens. I've never done a whole one before. Now, I'm gonna try and spread it so it 
shows its whole face. If they get folded over, then they get folded over. Okay, I've never done one that big. We're going to do this one together, see what happens. All right, this is the grand experiment. Thicker flowers. The big thing is you got to make, oh, I did the sandwich the wrong way. Who's not watching me? Okay, the cotton sheets go back together, and then the felt, and then the lid. And, you, and there's a smaller version and a larger version of this. This thing is the larger version. I think this is the nine by nine. And I think there's a, like a four and a half by four and a half or, or something like that. But if you want to make a bunch of flowers fast, you can sure make your life easier. I think this thing was probably invented in the 70s or 80s or something like that. And I don't know, I just came across it. I saw it on a video somewhere. And I'm like, oh my God, I gotta have that thing because it makes my life so much easier. Okay, I'm going in to the microwave for about a minute and 20 seconds. We'll see what we get. I changed it to a minute and 30 seconds because that one big one is so thick. So we'll see. Hang on. Here's the, whoop, here's the comparison shot between the live, the, the uncooked flower and then the, the microwave flower. Very cool how the rose petals. And when I do these next for you, um, I have some red rose petals too I'll do so you can see that. Okay, so I've got the big reveal here. Go a little closer. Maybe too close. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Um, now, right now, I just took it out after a minute and 30 seconds, and I can feel the, you can feel like the steam and the heat coming out. So just let that uh, evaporate a little bit, because that's the moisture that came out of your flowers. You want to let that, we don't want the moisture. We want the moisture to go away. And uh, this is also vented. It has some little vents in it. And the, you can feel that the felt is uh, wet. Wet from the flowers. Now, look it. Look how skinny, whoop, look how skinny. That flower's in there somewhere, that big flower. Let's see what we got. Let's peel it up. In between the two cotton sheets, what'd we get, what'd we get? Ooh, I got a flat yellow. All right. So these guys stuck here and that's fine. Um, I'll just give them a second to, you can just feel the, the humidity come off of them. Just give them a second to breathe. This guy, remember he was a big chabaroo? Not anymore. No, he's Mr. Skinny Mini now. He's probably gonna be pretty easy to peel off. He's still a little damp because he was a big chunker juicer. Oh, let me, let me take him off there. But look, look how skinny he went. Oh, can I see it? Skinny, super skinny. Yeah, that's all just uh, juice in there. I'm just gonna let that air dry a little bit. It feels like a pancake, honestly. It's kind of funny. Um, let me back up a little. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna put him here on the cold counter to just cool off. And I'll take these guys. Yellows pop off really easily for some reason. They just let go. They're very super skinny. See, very nice to use in your journals. You could laminate these. You could put them between two acrylic sheets. You could just glue them on your pages. Um, they work really well. And uh, they do retain their color for a long time, much longer than if you just air dried it. You'll get, you'll get, whoop, hang on. Where is my beautiful example of, yeah, just air drying leaves this lovely thing. Um, brown, yellow, and mold. Yes, that's, that's not nice. No, we don't want that. Um, so that is going to be removed from the household immediately. Okay, nice little thin flower, thin, thinny, thin, thin. And uh, instant, so if you're, if you're impatient and you want your flowers right away, this little device is fun. And I was just doing this again. I haven't showed it in a while, but and I do it periodically, like I'll make a bunch, but now that I've been making paper again, handmade paper, um, which uh, I now have all the stuff I can show you how to do it. Um, so yes, that, that video is coming, um, but it's really fun to put flowers in your handmade paper. They're just they're so pretty and they do retain the color um, much more than just regularly dried flowers. Do it pretty, huh? Yeah, super thin, right? Yeah really cool. Okay, so this is a little damp still. So if you're doing a bunch of these, you might find your time takes a little longer each time if your page is damp, or your page, if your felt is still wet from the previous one. So we're just going to let that air dry a little bit. And we're going to put this down and we can go ahead and layer them out. Kind of have to work around my, um, I have to work around my uh, tripod. Yep, got a new tripod finally. Okay, so, oh, I was gonna get some other flowers. So here I have, what do I have? Okay, what's rose? Looks like it's gonna keel over. You've, you've only got about a day left on you, so it's just getting some brown colorations on the edge. And we're going to sacrifice you. This is a little sacrificial lamb here. 
and it's nice if these go out separately. I'll put some white ones. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do um, an every other. Okay. And just show you. These are a little thinner, so I'm only going to do these for one minute. And uh, I think that will be plenty. Now do some more red rose. And I love using nature in my junk journals. Um, just it's fun. It's it's grounding. There's no copyright. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, okay, here you go. Let's put this on. And this is just a little damp. I'm gonna. Oh, there goes the petals. That's okay. I'll catch them. But once those are dry like that, you can just put them in a plastic bag and call it done, or a little wax bag, paper bag, or parchment paper bag. Um, they're done. Just make sure they're dry. Like this guy might let him dry a little bit more. Okay. Clips on pretty easily. Just go and clip these little guys around. And let's see what this shows. All right, going off to the microwave. Hold on. One minute. Okay, here we are. The big reveal. Still hot. I can still feel the, this was only one minute. Let's see what we get. Doesn't matter which way you open up, it up. Taking the top off. I, this feels damp. That's good. We want that. And uh, you can always pop it back in for another 10, 20, 30 seconds if needed. Ooh, pretty. Okay, we've got one flower here. I've got these guys here. So look at that. Let me bring it up closer for you. You see them on there? They're super thin. Well, they were thin to begin with, so that's no biggie. But look at the pretty color. Isn't that pretty? I mean, here's the, the original color, a little brighter, okay? But the, the, look at the dark richness and the burgundy and the, and the red roses. Isn't that beautiful? In the dried ones, just lovely. Okay, so these peel off pretty easily, and I would just put them aside to let them completely, um, any moisture that needs to evaporate, let it evaporate now. Because then we're going to go and live in our little parchment paper and or wax paper bag or um, even when they're really there's no moisture, Ziploc bags are fine. I've done all of them. That's why I had this false belief that you could do this and this is not what you want. You can't just put petals in a bag that even is open um, and expect amazing things to happen. No, well, at least it didn't happen for me. I got mold <laughs> and... Uh, so I just wanted to share that a little bit, that what not to do with your dried flowers, yeah. And um, like I said, you don't need this little gizmo. You can certainly create something like this yourself. I think there's videos on how to microwave your, your flowers also all over the place with other ha handmade ways to do that. And I think it involves like ceramic tiles, like bathroom tiles, floor tiles, uh, terracotta tiles, that kind of stuff. Um, so this little gizmo, I think, you know, it's like, I don't know, like 34 or 50 or 60 bucks if you buy the gizmo. So you got to decide, you know, what, what do you want to do? What's the deal? But I wanted to share that and show that with you. And uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, this is just a little quickie. Okay, I'm going to do another round. Let's see, what else do I have over here on this posy of posies? Um, you know, I haven't done the, um, let's do the carnations. Let's just spread them out a little bit. See what they come out. These are very delicate. That guy was half dead. Individual carnation flowers um, can be very pretty. So you can spread them out and then you can use them as little embellishments. And let's see if they retain their color. That's always the big question. Will the color be retained? And so far I can say that the color that comes out, I haven't seen much degradation in the color over time. And I've probably had some of these for several years now, some of my older dried flowers. I don't know if over 40 or 50 years. What are you eating? Is it a flower? Yeah, hang on, I gotta do a puppy chase. Be right back. All right. Um, yeah, so um, uh, probably like several years, so I don't know about like 40 or 50 years if the color will still be there, but I can tell you that it was still there. Yeah, what are you eating? Don't be eating that. Yep, yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's a flower petal. Um, I think it's a, what do you got? Did you get a rose? What is it? I hope it's nothing toxic. He, he likes to play keep away, so sometimes it's a little hard to catch him. <laughs> I'm just standing there chewing it. This, it's a very tiny piece, so we're hoping we're, we're okay. Are we okay? Yeah? So be mindful when you're <laughs> with your pets, when you're drying your flowers, because some things are toxic to pets. Um, all right, there we go. 
We'll just, oh, we got a little purple guy in there. I don't know where he came from. All right, that's pretty full. So let's just do this again. I've given enough time for the whole unit to air dry pretty much. And I would say, I don't know, maybe, I'm gonna try 50 seconds on this one and uh, see what that comes out like. So you can see the very delicate flowers, tiniest petals, and what those results are like. My last little clip is a uh, way over here. Uh, way over here. Oh, hang on. Boop, boop. Okay, here it is. All right, I'm gonna try 50 seconds in the microwave. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's see what we got. It's very hot, so that's good. That means it's doing its process. You wanna be careful because it's, like, it's steaming flowers, basically, so um, just make sure that you give enough time for things to cool down. It is plastic, so it doesn't retain a lot of the heat. The felt pad can be a little bit hot to the touch, so just be sure. Save and then peel back and see what we got, what we got, what we got. Ooh! So we got these little guys. Let me, uh, where are you? Zoom in. All right, what'd we get, what'd we get? So but they're very thin. Whoop, where are you? They're very thin, and they're just going to air dry. Let me put some out on the counter here so you can maybe see them a little better. Um, like I said, it's better if they don't touch at all when they're drying. You'll get um, separate ones because when they dry together, it's harder to get them apart because uh, they stick together. But if you just wanted like one little innocent, whoop, where are you? Petal by itself, all dried whoop, and thin. You just put that on an embellishment or something. Would that be cute? That'd be so cute. A little purple one to save you. And let's just get the rest of these off. Okay, so if you let everything dry, like all the water dry, then they, they'll come off pretty easily. Um, there we go. Just putting all these here. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a pretty easy process. Um, pretty clean. And uh, it's a great way to use up flowers that are sort of... Um, you know, destined for the bin the next day, and maybe you want to have them immortalized. So there you go. I hope you had fun. Um, let me just give you a little zoom in on some of these so you can see them closer. Okay, closer. Oh, focus. Okay, let's try turning this. And, oh, there's that guy. And if I do detect there's still some moisture in this big guy, I might run him through again for another 10, 20, 30 seconds. He might still have a little moisture in him. You know when they're totally dry, dry, they feel dry, dry. It's just like, uh, where are you? Where would you go? They feel dry, dry, just like paper. He has a little bit of sense of rubberiness in him right now. So I think I would run him through for another 10, 20 seconds just to take out the rubberiness and just go for straight dry, dry. But he did go very flat, didn't he? Flatty, flat, flat. Kind of cool. So there you go, folks. If you find, uh, if you had fun, welcome to everybody who's new. And who's that? Who's that little show stealer? Come here. You wanna say hi to everybody? Nope, you wanna play runway. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's what we do 90% of the time. Um, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, click the notification bell if you want to be uh, notified of uh, different videos when they come out. Do all sorts of things here related to junk journals, um, paper crafting, mostly journal related embellishments, different ways to make journals, lots of um, ways to use up book pages with journals, uh, different ways to construct journals, uh, different ways to do layout pages, all sorts of fun stuff. I've got a whole bunch of links down below my video uh, in the drop down list for my Amazon shop where I put my favorite tools and supplies. You can find this little gizmo there if you're looking for it. It's called the Microfleur. I think I'll put a link in the drop down box so you can find it more easily. And um, what else? Um, I have a monthly email newsletter where you get a free, um, uh, excuse me, you get a free um, a digital image emailed to you every month along with a note from the bookmaker, a checklist of supplies and uh, updates from the paper outpost and um, junk journal tips and fun things like that. I also have a podcast, which is audio, free to listen to. Links are down below, but you can listen on Apple or Spotify or a whole host of other uh, things. Or you don't even have to have any special software or iPod or anything. You can just click the link below and listen to for free anytime. There's over, I don't know, probably 150 episodes to listen to now. All junk journal, paper crafting, life of a crafter related topics. And are you digging for gold, son? I'm gonna sneak up on him, he doesn't know. Come here. No, nope. can't catch them. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, that's pretty well. The Facebook group, we're having fun over there in the Facebook group doing weekly, monthly challenges. Come on over and play with us. Get inspired. People are coming up with so many cool ideas, so many fun things. And um, 
remember that life, life can be simple along with fun. Fun can be simple. There, there, I've just upgraded the, the, the line. Life can be simple um, if you let it. And fun is also for you. That's right. Not just for the kids. You can have fun too. You're allowed. And uh, make sure you get your doly, da doly days of fun. Yep. Okay. Time to turn the video off, Pam. And uh, your daily dose of fun. And remember to create with reckless abandon. Sonny, you want to come say hi? Hang on. Let's see if I can catch him. Okay, everybody. Mom caught me. I just want to say hi, everybody. Hope you have an awesome day. Happy flower making. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> there we go. All right. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Bye.